Hey guys, how's it going to know from Kimro3 Group here. Hope you're doing well. Just want to give you a quick tip, especially if you're a buyer in this particular marketplace here in July 2020. Um, list prices don't matter. Sold prices do. Uh, the reason I'm saying this is because I get a lot of inquiries from buyers that are curious about property. Um, you know, they're sending me properties listed at uh, $299, $399, $499. However, those same properties are selling for like $50,000 more. And 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 some buyers don't, don't understand why. So at the end of the day, the list price doesn't really matter. It is the sold price that matter inside a community to kind of dictate what the market value is uh, in said community. Uh, what I would do as a buyer, um, uh, when representing my buyers, is that I go in and do a comparative market analysis. I take a look at all properties that have sold in that particular communities. And we're talking apples to apples. If it's a townhouse, we're looking at a townhouse with three bedrooms, for example, as close as possible. And over the last six months, there's going to be some information. Over the last 30 to 60 days, it's going to be a lot more relevant. And we're going to use that information of the sold prices to kind of have, give us an idea what that property might sell for. Uh, the list price, though, doesn't really help me there.